Hi, and welcome to the second video in the OpenTab Operator GUI series. In this video, we are first going to be setting up the project using Visual Studio. Then we are going to be adding the NuGet dependencies for this project. This includes both the OpenTab NuGet package as well as a couple of other GUI related NuGet packages that is going to make the GUI a little prettier and also speed up our GUI development. Finally, we are going to be putting our basic GUI elements together. In the next video, we will look at how to integrate those basic GUI elements with the OpenTap SDK. So let's get started. So here I'm going to be using Visual Studio 2022, but you can use Visual Studio 2017 or 2019 as well. So open Visual Studio and select create a new project. Since this is a WPF based GUI application, we are going to be selecting the WPF application template. Make sure it is the one which uses C sharp. Finally, we give a name to this project. Let's call it operator GUI. That's it. Visual Studio now has a WPF based application template ready for us to write our code in. Before we start developing the application, we need to first bring in our dependencies. These dependencies are brought in through the NuGet package manager. There are three NuGet packages we are going to be needing. These are the NuGet packages that are going to be helping us interact with the OpenTap engine as well as building the GUI elements. First is the OpenTap NuGet package. Next are the material design themes and material design colors NuGet packages. OpenTap NuGet package contains all the C# -sharp APIs that allow us to interact with the OpenTap engine from any C# -sharp based application. Material design themes and material design colors are a couple of GUI related NuGet packages that I'm going to be using to make the GUI a little prettier and bring in some colors and themes. There are several open source GUI libraries uh, available such as Ma Apps, Material Design, Handy and so on. If you are familiar with any other GUI related libraries, you can feel free to use them. I've used material design library because it has pretty good documentation and is easy to get started using. Our focus is on the OpenTap library rather than the GUI related packages. So I will link all the basic instructions and tutorials for using them. Once we add these NuGet packages to our project, we are all set and ready to go. The way you can add these NuGet packages to the project is by using the NuGet package manager. Here you can search for any of the NuGet packages available. So let's search for the OpenTap NuGet package, the material design colors NuGet package, and the material design themes NuGet package and hit install. First, we are going to be adding some resource dictionaries to bring in some colors and themes from the material design libraries. As you can see, this has been added to the app.xaml file under the resources section. main.xaml is the file where we are going to be writing all of our GUI related code. So I'm going to be using a grid container to arrange my GUI controls. I like grids a lot because they're easy to partition and arrange. You can use other containers if you like or are familiar with them. For more details on using grids and other containers, please look at the description for some useful links. So my grid is going to have six rows. The first or topmost row contains the logo and an icon. Here you can change the logo to represent your own company or, you know, just keep it as the open tab logo. The second row is for the test plan selection where the user is able to select a test plan and it shows up in the text field. The third row is for a serial number entry. Usually in production, there is a device ID or a serial number 
associated with a particular device for which the test is being run. So this is the reason for the serial number entry to be added there. The fourth row contains the elements related to executing the test plan, such as playing it and stopping it and looking at the progress. The next row is for looking at the verdict and the final row is for looking at the status of execution of the test plan. These are all basic GUI elements such as text boxes, buttons and labels, but their styles have been modified because of bringing in some external styles from the material design library. This is all the GUI related code for the operator GUI. In the next video, we will look at how to connect these fields and buttons to the OpenTap engine using the OpenTap SDK. So to recap, in this video, we first set up a WPF based application using Visual Studio. We then brought in three NuGet packages as our dependencies. These NuGet packages help us talk to the OpenTap engine as well as a couple of GUI related NuGet packages that make the GUI prettier and also bring in some colors and some styles. We then laid out all the basic elements of the GUI using a grid container. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to the next video where we will be adding functionality to these GUI elements.